Now I'm going to pass the scope through your nose down into your throat to look at your larynx. Okay. okay? So right now I want you to just breathe out of your mouth. Okay? And if I pinch you, please say ouch and I'll make it go a different direction. Okay. In performing flexible laryngoscopy, either nostril can be used. In this instance, we are using the right side. Okay, again going through your nose. This is often the little pinchy part. As the flexible scope enters the right nasal cavity, one notices the nasal septum on the medial side and the inferior turbinate on the lateral side. And the middle turbinate on the lateral side. The lateral nasal wall is composed of the inferior, middle, and superior turbinates. In doing the endoscopy, it gives us the opportunity to identify internal nasal pathology, such as a deviated nasal septum, purulent nasal discharge, or nasal polyps. As the camera continues posteriorly into the nasopharynx, we will see the orifice of the eustachian tube laterally and the adenoidal pad centrally. Continuing inferiorly towards the oropharynx, we see the pharyngeal tonsils bilaterally on the pharyngeal walls. We're through the nose and I'm looking at your larynx. The base of tongue with the lingual tonsils are noted as well, just anterior to the larynx. It's important to look for masses or asymmetric growths which can originate in the lingual tonsils. The epiglottis is seen posterior to the tongue base. The space between the anterior aspect of the epiglottis and the base of tongue is known as the vollecula. At this point, the larynx and hypopharynx are examined. We typically see smooth, straight vocal cords bilaterally, which are usually white in color. Common pathology that can be seen on the vocal cords include nodules, polyps, cysts, and malignancies. In the pediatric age group, laryngomalacia is noted as a common form of strider in infants and irregularities such as a mass, ulcer, or asymmetry of any kind should be noted. Vocal cord mobility is assessed by having the patient protrude their tongue for evaluation of the vollecula. Phonate E. Say E. E. And hold nose, puff out cheeks, alternate sniffs to evaluate the piriform sinuses which sit lateral to the vocal cords. Vocal cord mobility is normally symmetric bilaterally and full in both an ab and adduction. Any weakness or asymmetry of vocal cord mobility should be noted. Vocal cord paralysis is a common pathology seen. Attention is also paid to the piriform situses bilaterally and the cricoid region posteriorly, as the esophageal inlet is located here. One can often view below the vocal cords and see into the subglottic space, and occasionally see one or two tracheal rings. On behalf of the American Academy of Otolaryngology Head and Neck Surgery, we hope that you have found this video useful in reinforcing the basic components of the ENT examination. For additional information regarding any of the illnesses we discuss, we invite you to visit the AAO HNS website, entnet.org.